A small number of studies have reported the rate of fetal loss after chorionic villus sampling in twin pregnancies. There is no consensus regarding the procedure-related risk. The aim of the present study was to estimate the CVS-related risk of fetal loss in twin pregnancy after adjustment for various known risk factors. Data were obtained prospectively from women with twin pregnancy undergoing routine ultrasound examination at 11 to 13 weeks. Multivariable logistic regression analysis was used to examine whether CVS provided a significant independent contribution to the prediction of risk of fetal loss. Within the CVS group, multivariable logistic regression analysis was used to investigate the effect of the number of interuterine needle insertions and size of the needle on the risk of fetal loss. The study population included 316 diachorionic and 129 monochorionic twins that had CVS. In twin pregnancies undergoing CVS, compared to those not undergoing CVS, there was a two-fold increased risk of fetal loss before 24 weeks and of loss at any stage. The factors providing a significant independent contribution to the prediction of miscarriage or fetal loss were increased maternal weight, black racial origin, monochorionicity, monoamnionicity, large intertwin discordance of CRL, and increased NT. In the case of fetal loss at any stage, there was also a contribution from assisted conception and low serum PAP-A. After adjustment for maternal and pregnancy characteristics, CVS did not provide a significant contribution to the risk of fetal loss. In pregnancies that had CVS, there was no significant contribution to fetal loss from the number of interuterine needle insertions or needle size. The twofold increased risk of fetal loss following CVS in twin pregnancy can, to a great extent, be explained by maternal and pregnancy characteristics rather than the invasive procedure itself.